Hi guys! It is January 2nd, and I have a webcam, and that's exciting. Um, and I'm trying to not look at myself, and it's... I'm trying to not look at myself in the camera, and it's not going very well. Um, and I'm trying to find a good place to sit so that, you know, you can see part of me, but... Oh, you're getting all of my messy computer room right now, I'm sorry. Um, and I keep looking at myself, and it's tripping me out, so I'm gonna close that, and I'm just gonna try and look at the camera. Hey, how's it going? I had this big plan about how I was going to, um, have a game going, and then a little thing somewhere on the screen of me, and you can laugh at me while I play this game, but I can't figure out how to get it to work. So, if any of you have programs, um, software and such that works, and that does that very well, um, please leave comments down below. I can't do it in Movie Maker, it won't let me. I can't figure out Lightworks, it's really complicated for my brain. And I'd really rather not spend money, but I can spend some money. I don't... Mm, yeah, some money's okay. Lots of money is not okay. Our Project Chronicle theme for the week is goals slash dreams. I broke down a list of, you know, possible things that are goals and dreams, and then I realized that I need to kind of explain something else. I have three chronic conditions, medical conditions, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, immune deficiency syndrome, and I have chronic migraines. On their own, those things can be debilitating. All three of them takes a lot out of you. It makes things like goals and dreams very difficult. It's probably not the best way to live, but I try not to make goals and dreams too often. Most of the time, I disappoint myself because I can't do them. My husband and I are planning on moving this year, and that's something that I know is going to happen. We have outgrown this place, and we can't feasibly start a family here. Um, and there's just no room, so we're moving. I can't really call that a goal because it's happening. We are meeting with the bank this month. We're, we're moving. It, it, it's happening. There's nothing that will physically happen with me to change that. And then, as soon as we get that place organized, we're getting a cat. We've never had a pet together, really, so we're gonna get a cat. Again, that's an inevitability. It's going to happen. Now, whether it happens this year or not will depend on how quickly we move and um, how quickly we get the place unpacked. And the other only thing that I really want this year um, is to do this. And this is something that I can do. I can sit and talk at a camera for however long. I can play a video game and record myself doing it for however long. So that's not a problem. These are things that, unless I'm having a really, really bad day where I am bedridden and I can't even lift up my hand to do a phone video, these things are going to happen. So I don't like calling them goals and dreams. The persistence to do the New Year's, to do the Project 14 is difficult, which is why I made it my New Year's resolution, but it's happening. It's the things that I want personally for me are hard to put as goals. I end up making them dreams because I don't think I'll ever get to do them. At some point I'd like to host Christmas for my family and my husband's family. All together it's about 50 people. I love cooking, I love hosting, and that's not going to be a problem. I'm ill a lot. When I have something big coming up I get stressed out and that triggers a lot of my illnesses. Those tend to be dreams rather than goals because no matter what I do, it seems that something comes up where it can't happen. It is a miracle beyond miracles that I actually got through my wedding. I, I don't know how it happened. It could have been really bad. I worry that I'll put in all this effort and then the day will come and I won't even be able to get out of bed. I tend not to plan big things like that getting a job and going back to school. I graduated from high school and that's really the only education I have. I did uh, a year of college. I hated it and I, I left. I couldn't stand it. I, I didn't want to be there. I just started working and then I got ill and I haven't been able to work since. I think when it comes to goals and dreams for me, I give myself little landmarks and I say, okay, today I'm not going to get to clean the whole house. I'll be exhausted. I can do a little laundry. I can put in a load of dishes. My current favorite is I'm going to play Pokemon and every time a Pokemon evolves, I'm going to put 10 things away. And it's not a goal, it's not a dream, it's a little step. The problem is if I sit down and say, okay, I'm going to clean the entire living room and I go for it, in an hour I'm exhausted and I have to lie down and the next day I'm pretty much no good either. I guess the point of this video is if you can't give yourself big, big 
aspirations and you can't do a lot and you can't go for your goal immediately, do landmarks, do little steps. You'll get there. It may take longer than you like, but you will get there. And you will remember all the work you put towards getting there. And it'll be so worth it. I promise. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Leave comments giving me ideas for videos. I will continue to do the regular form of gaming videos probably starting tomorrow until I figure out how to get the video and video thing going. Anyhow, have a beautiful day.